how's it going? Michael here with another all new hybrid news now. In our top stories for the day, the Punisher series gets its first official artwork along with a new Defenders image. Some brand new details on the Vulture's initial origin for Spider-Man Homecoming have been released. And some interesting news on The Incredibles 2 has just been revealed. Anyway, enough talking and let's get into the news. Although the next Marvel Netflix show is The Defenders, don't forget about that guy who gave Daredevil a tough time in the second season of his show. That's right, some new information on the Punisher series has come out as the first official artwork has been revealed. And trust me, it's bloody. Today, Marvel and Netflix revealed the Punisher artwork and it features John Bernthal's Frank Castle in a brooding pose. The Punisher will be releasing at some point towards the end of 2017 and this first piece of artwork should be the first of many more photos and footage to come as promo slowly begins to ramp up. In addition to this, a brand new SDCC banner for the Defenders has been released, flexing all four of the team's members, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage. SDCC is only a couple of days away, so expect some news updates and possibly a trailer for both of these upcoming series. Moving on to our next story, are you a fan of Michael Keaton's Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming? Well, in case you are, some new details on the character's initial origin for the movie have been revealed and they're drastically different than what we saw in the movie. I think it's safe to say that the Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming was a great character and villain overall in the MCU with their long history of not the best villains, who also had a fairly interesting connection with Peter Parker and the greater MCU. So of course, spoilers for Spider-Man Homecoming. If you haven't seen it yet, you should, you should probably go check it out, but we'll probably dive into some information. Spoils it. Jonathan Goldenstein and John Francis Daly, the two writers of the film, recently dove into details on the initial idea for the Vulture's origin with Yahoo.com. Toombs was going to be someone closer to Peter and was never going to be like how he was in the comics. A quote from the two writers, Once we started talking about Vulture, it was clear that the version in the comics wouldn't do, where he was this bald old man. It just never felt terribly scary on film to us. So we thought, alright, let's make him more of a middle-aged guy. He was still stealing from damage control, we had a different way into it. Toombs was gonna be Peter's teacher, and then we were like, no, let's separate him fully from school, or at least so it seems. And that's, I think, when we decided to make it the love interest's dad. So it seems like Toombs could have had a much more intimate connection to Peter as a teacher. Who knows how much better or worse that would have turned out. I think it's safe to say what we got in Spider-Man Homecoming was good enough. I can't help but think about that reveal if it were that situation, where your teacher is not only giving you detention, but trying to kill you. And in our final story for the day, Incredibles fans get excited as some brand new news has dropped on the upcoming animated feature sequel. While many fans have been waiting for a sequel for The Incredibles for ever, don't worry, it's still happening. Unfortunately though, it won't happen in real time or have a significant time jump. In fact, it's actually gonna take place right after the events of the first movie. Currently, D23 is going on, which is Disney's annual convention. Recently, John Lasseter, Disney's Pixar chief, spoke with IGN on the upcoming animated feature, confirming it'll take place right where the first left off. It starts right as the first one finishes, so it just carries on. He quickly mentions, a minute has passed by between the films. It starts with the Underminer and a big old set piece. You know that at the end of the first movie, when he comes up and you see the family dressed as the superheroes, well, that's where this movie starts. This is some pretty upsetting news for those banking on a fresh updated take on the characters in the future. Perhaps later on there's a time jump and it just starts off right after the events of the first movie. Who knows, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, that wraps it up for the day's H&N. What did you think about the news? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Hybrid Network if you haven't already. For the latest updates for what's going on in entertainment, be sure to come back to the channel or visit our website at hybridnetworkyt.com. I'm Michael from the Hybrid Network, signing off for the day's H&M. I'll see you next time. Take care.